This is stock number TB283. It's an 84 inch cab to axle chassis truck bed. So from there to there, the back of the cab to the center of the rear axle is 84 inches. So this is a bed that fits that. It's a big walk-in utility bed. Was an ambulance and it's all aluminum. You can take a look at the picture that I took underneath. Actually a video. And this thing is all aluminum. Completely aluminum. It's got even real nice mounts, ISO mounts in it. Uh, there's, this is just spare no expense, just whatever it took to build a really top quality truck bed or ambulance body. This is the uh, city of, from the city of New York. And it's just heavy duty all the way. Some of the wiring, uh, they just butchered the wiring, so not sure what's going to work or what not. So you may need to rewire the tail lights, which are pretty easy to get to. But that's uh, that's the underside of this. Super solid. There is lots of tools or boxes and drawers and so forth. Here's one right here. It's a lower box. And then we go up here. The key, this is the same key right there, is there, and all the doors take the same key. The key is in the back, and they all lock. They all close very nicely. Look at how thick these doors are. They're, they're just very solid. And they close nicely. Now that door is locked. And so, real simple to use, real secure. So this has access from the ins outside and from the inside of the roll-up. It's got a roll-up door to keep everything in place. This is the way in on the side, and then you got back doors as well. you got a compartment down here behind the rear axle. And this used to be a New York City ambulance. And let me tell you, they <laughs> they had to pay some big bucks for this thing. I mean, just everything is just completely top notch. Okay, so you come in here. There is the roller cabinet. So then you can roll that guy up and now you've got access to your tool. Well, whatever you want to use that for. And you got a nice little jump seat in here, if you need that. Lots of um, cubby holes here. Good one here. This is the old control panel. Nothing is, they clipped all the wires as you probably already saw. More storage up here. Storage kind of everywhere. The ceiling. There, there's a there's a handrail right here. You can hold on if if you need to ride inside. But the uh, the ceiling is five and a half feet tall. So I'm kind of I'm six feet tall and I'm kind of ducking a little bit. Just so you know that it's five and a half feet tall. This is nice. Another one here oxygen stuff and there and this guy is a storage hold on a second there we go <clears throat> all the latches work everything works very well <coughs> excuse me so this is this bench we got a couple I think it's all full aluminum it's not just 
thin aluminum, it's very heavy aluminum. Like this is right here. It's not a bar, it's it's not a extruded thing, it's a bar. It's like three eighths of an inch thick. So it's kind of heavy aluminum. So this is the inside. Let's let's look and see what it looks like here. That floor, you think you'd be able to put a sheet of plywood in it. Well, sorry, it's 46 inches wide. So the floor to ceiling is five and a half feet tall, and this is 46. You can put them on an angle easy and have a ton in there, but just so you know, that's not quite 48. Or you can change this dimension if you wanted. And by the way, this flooring is, is sheet flooring, sheet goods, but it's got the uh, little bumps there, give you traction with wet feet and so forth. And this has the latch inside. Look at that latch. I mean, it's just, everything is way overbuilt. Closes just so perfect. You got huge bathroom bars, basically. There's your key. So that's that. And then here's the last compartment. So... Now you can have your, paint this thing up and you got yourself a real nice walk-in utility body. That's what the roof looks like. A couple of marker lights on either side. I think the front has them too. It's got three in the front. Okay, well, hope this helps. Thanks for looking.